So, as promised, today we're talking about the end of Alzheimer's. This book, written by Dr. Dale E. Branston, has been doing research for 30 years, and he has um, explained in this book, and you should really order it, because it will, if a parent of yours or someone in your family has the beginning of Alzheimer's, you're just only a few years behind. I know you don't want to believe this, but that's how it is with genes. So um, this doctor talks about getting tested and knowing if you are predisposed to that. But even if you're not predisposed to it, there's factors that affect it. So one of them is your diet. Being on the ketogenic diet not only decreases inflammation, but it also increases the ketones going to your brain, which helps to make your brain work at its max potential. So if you're on the ketogenic diet, go ahead and order my keto, uh, ketone uh, script strips and measure your ketones first thing in the morning. And then to make sure about inflammation, order the pH strips. And basically, let me show you what they look like. You go into the bottle, you grab one of these strips, you go potty first thing in the morning run it under your urine stream, then pull it out, shake it out 15 seconds so you don't splash the people around you. Um, actually, it used to be 15 seconds, it's 40 seconds now. And then you put it against the chart and then you figure out where exactly in ketosis you are. Now, some people write me on email, well, I'm only at, you know, this light purple color and I can't make it budge. Well, you know what? If you have any color change, you're in ketosis. You're good. You're doing great. All right. So the things that this doctor talks about, all right, um, are diet, ketogenic diet, decreasing inflammation, decreasing cholesterol, because cholesterol is the building blocks of amyloid plaques in the brain. Did you know that? Yes. And amyloid plaques are actually a protective mechanism that your brain puts together to keep your brain from deteriorating and obviously blocking the blood flow, changes how you remember things, so it's just like it's not good all the way around. So diet, cholesterol amount in your bloodstream. If you're a diabetic because of the inflammation and insulin, check your hormones, uh, you can check your gene, uh, there's special genetic tests you can do. But he also talks about the cognitive decline, and there's a test that you can do. It's called the cognoscopy, okay? So no, nobody's putting any tubes up anywhere. This is just to see how your brain is doing. So hormones, um, vitamin D3 is so important, and so are some other minerals and vitamins like B6, your thyroid function, parathyroid, Exercise, you gotta exercise every day. That's one of the things. And then last but not least, because there's a lot more, there's 36 different ways, sleep. Sleep has been shown to uh, hurry up the occurrence of Alzheimer's. So when you sleep, your body goes through uh, rejuvenating, rejuvenation process, I can't even talk this morning, and um, it helps to heal. But when you're not getting enough sleep, then sooner or later, your cognitive function decreases. So that will also increase your chances of getting Alzheimer's. We're doing um, this book today on Alzheimer's. Buy it, read it, and become in the best shape you can. Tomorrow, let's talk about diabetes and weight loss. Talk to you then.